What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Clown Special. What's going on guys? It's your boy Klaus by Shinobi and welcome back to a brand new reaction. Today we are reacting to One Piece, the official teaser trailer. This trailer is a whole 1 minute and 43 seconds. Obviously give or take a couple seconds for additional information but um, I'm excited bro. Like when I hovered over the image I saw Bucky, I think Buggy, his name is Buggy the Clown bro. So i'm already excited for this i can't wait to see all the characters and their full like just costumes effects everything i can't wait to see. i hopefully we get to see um luffy's stretching mechanic and stuff like that and they tease a little bit of the double food powers and things like that so we can really grasp exactly how everything is going to look now before i get into this i do want to say that they also showed a, a couple of teasers for um avatar the last airbender and um i'm not so excited about that uh the things about avatar the last airbender are a bit different though it's like the costumes don't really look like they belong in a show or like a live action they look like cosplays and things like that which is kind of a a turn off for me you know like it's just uh yeah it's just a bunch of issues that i wasn't expecting for the first uh images we got to so see for that avatar the last airbender so a little disappointed that um they turned out this way kind of killed my vibe they also pushed the show back i'm assuming they pushed it back mainly because of one piece these two shows dropping in the same year probably would not be a good idea if i'm being honest um but yeah that being said make sure to like comment and subscribe and let's get into the reaction Imagine if this wasn't dub. The sea's been calling. So? I'm setting out to follow my dreams. I'm gonna be king of the pirates. All I need is a loyal crew. And I think... Together we'd make a pretty good team. Who the heck is that? We're heading up to the Grand Line. Hey. A treacherous stretch of ocean. Whoa, wait, hold on. That was clean. We're heading up to the Grand Light. A treacherous stretch of ocean with bigger islands and bigger pirates. <laughs> Careful with that. I don't work for you. I'm sensing a little bit of tension amongst the crew. Not, Not a crew. A crew. We haven't sailed together for very long, but I know we've got each other's backs. Wait, but wait, 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 wait. I know we've got each other's backs. Okay, so it's also one stretching. Gamaga! So it's kind of hard to see. Okay, so. All great Dang. fighters call out their finishing moves. No, they don't. Bro, why am I? I'm so excited for this show. August 31st. Okay. Honestly, I was expecting it to be a lot sooner. Uh, I, th I was thinking like July ish, but August, you know, uh, it's worth the wait. I think it's worth the wait. Um, I have to keep reminding myself this is Netflix. This isn't like uh some high budgeted Disney you know like it's hard to say that when disney be like sucking on their effects also but with netflix netflix has never really had over the top effects right their effects team has always been i would say mediocre when it comes to cinema right they don't really put a lot of money behind their effects so when i see something that just doesn't look realistic i have to remind myself this is netflix and it's not like a live action movie for instance live action show you know when it comes to things like the flash the arrow and things like that it's okay to kind of like step back and understand why the effects aren't 
the best right and i do that a lot when i watch the flash which i'm honestly watching recently i literally paused it so i can react to this um and every time i see bad effects i just have to take that whole mindset of it being movie effects and put it back into show effects you know and also game effects because game effects look good in video games until you come into live action like this and then you're like well why does it look good in the video game but it can't look good in you know live action and things like that um i think it's really just because everything in a video game is obviously computer generated and things like that whereas live action they're recording in live action and then trying to replace it it with vfx after the fact you get what i'm saying so um yeah the scene with zoro was absolutely clean um it's, it's very clear that he's gonna be crazy with his swords just like in the anime um i cannot wait to see him in action i hate that it's starting from season like oh the fact that it's starting from season one but one piece has over a thousand episodes bro over a thousand episodes and so far it looks like we're going all the way up until we get sanji onto the crew right i think sanji was the last one it was either usopp or sanji that was the last one to get recruited um in the first couple of episodes right and then the other ones added on but um we see wait did, i don't think usopp had like a ridiculously long nose oh in nikki just has a normal nose i know we've got each other's backs I know we've got each other's back. This, this, the, the like frame of Usopp is so quick. Yeah, he, he, oh yeah, he just has a normal nose. Okay, so they didn't, they didn't do my man Usopp dirty by giving him like some special effects long nose. But um, oh I can't wait, bro. Everything about this looks so good. The fact that we get to see Buggy in action is going to be fire. Um. I, bro, I don't know what I'm just I'm just excited. I'm literally just excited. And I haven't been a One Piece fan for that long. I've only been a One Piece fan for like last year. That's when I actually started watching One Piece and I finally just caught up a couple months ago. Now I'm like caught up to the show. So I genuinely just got onto the One Piece hype train, but literally just in time, bro. Um to me everything looks good compared to the avatar images we've seen we haven't gotten a trailer so that could be the in between but compared to the avatar stuff this show actually looks good it looks presentable the outfits and things like that are chef's kiss they look like accurate they look accurate as accurate as you can make a live action you know when you do like fan made live actions and stuff sometimes the characters look a little off compared to the the anime versions and it, it's understandable it's hard to get somebody that looks like an anime character that probably can also act you get what i'm saying so you gotta kind of like take that into consideration so the fact that the cast even looks as accurate as it does i really like especially usopp bro i think the person they picked for usopp is, a, is an amazing choice also the fact he has braids or like dreads instead of his afro puff is 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 fire also you know i think it fits usopp as a live action character better than i can't find the image but better than the the puffs would i i like the change to usopp i feel like a lot of people won't like the change that they did with usopp but i like it i think it makes sense for him to look the way that he does as a live action character uh but yeah I'm excited. August 31st, I will be reacting to this show fully every single episode. So make sure to subscribe so you do not miss that reaction. With that being said, it's been your boy Cloud Special Nobi, and I'm out. Peace. Nah, nah.